it's over now. Hi, welcome back to Vela News TV. I'm Neil Rogers. We're here at the finish of Stage 19, the second individual time trial, the Tour de France. Big, big day for Predictor Lotto. Chris, obviously you woke up this morning, saw the winds, uh, the flag, the winds. Maybe not what you'd hoped. Yeah, you know, uh, when Cadell's a time trial specialist, you'd like a little bit more wind for uh, needing that little more power, but. Who knows, hopefully he can do it with a tailwind. It makes it a bit easier for Contador. I think with a headwind, I'd say Cadell was going to take it. I really felt he was. And then when with the tailwind, when I was out there, I was like, whew. It's kind of hard to gain time on, guys, because you can recover so much better and not lose time when you have the tailwind. But with that, Cadell's going to go 100%. And I think it's going to be 20 seconds one way or the other. Have you, I mean, have you gotten an update? Here, we're talking to you 10 minutes after you cross the line. Do you even know what's happening out on the course I right now? He, I heard he's up 25 seconds. That was all I heard yeah. when he first took off. So. It's 40 now. Oh, it's 40 now. Whew. And the finish is hard. That's where, you, that's where you really make up a lot of time. I know uh, life, I was up on him 25 seconds at the beginning. And then uh, after the middle part, he started gaining back on me. And then, and then at the finish, I think he was a good 40 seconds up on me. So for a time trial specialist, that's where they're going to make up a lot of time is at the finish here. When we talked to you after the first time trial, you gave us a really in insightful analysis of how you were taking turns and talking over the radio about, you know, this is a dangerous spot. This course is not as technical, but same role for you, for Cadell. I mean, you're giving as much information as you can. Yeah, it was more. I think uh, life was giving the information, not, not me. I was just out there riding, getting through the time trial. The first part, I felt really good. I think just because I didn't train this morning, I only warmed up 20 minutes, hopped on the bike. So... That's really fresh for the beginning, and, and like I said, it's having a good good first half, and then after that, then I just settled into a mode, D didn't want to go really too lactate and stuff, but I still end up with a better time than I thought I'd do, but I knew Carpets was, he's on 16th on GC, and I figured he'd jump over me on the minute, but I had Ibon Mayo in front of me a minute, so I was hoping I could jump up over him, <laughs> so honestly, I think there's, you know, there's the win, there's the third, there's top five, top 10, top 15. <laughs> sure, sure. And, uh, but I didn't want to blow the legs either in case Cadell has the lead tomorrow. I think we'd be racing through all the way into the Champs-Élysées, which would be an incredibly dangerous course. But I can't see where someone wouldn't race for time bonuses if that was an option to win the Tour. Well, it still could be. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Last couple of days, we talked to you about uh, a little bit of a st upset stomach. The other day, you had a uh, bandage on your wrist. How's, how are you holding up? Yeah, I still got the te the tendonitis. You can see right here where it's really it's, it's 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 really bulging right here. But yesterday was an easy ride. It's not on the bike that hurts it. It's the attacks, the aggressive climbing, the the going 100 percent, pulling on the bars and all that. The shifting hard. That is what really upsets the. The, the tendonitis right here so yesterday was hard but it was only hard for 22k and then after that it was really uh for you fans if you want a spectacular ride 211k you do yesterday's course wasn't too difficult it's not a huge lot of clients but it was a, it was a spectacular just a, a tourist ride basically i mean it was for us too except for the first 22k I was sitting back after that and just enjoying the weather. It's a beautiful day, beautiful ride along the river, the old going through the old neighborhoods of France and stuff like that. Uh, I was thinking, wow, that, what a great ride this would be if you if you don't want to go over any big coals. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you've been rooming with uh, Cadell the whole tour. Uh, you're his right hand man in the mountains. Tour de France could be won or lost today. Uh, what was it like? Kind of, you know, lights out last night. What was the conversation this morning? You know, in all honesty. Cadell was the calmest I've ever seen him. Yesterday in the stage, he was the calmest. Last night, he was the calmest. I, and I was absolutely amazed. I thought, "Why? Well, I don't know for certain if I want to be rooming with Cadell tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it, in all honesty, I've never seen him so calm and relaxed as he was yesterday during the stage. And last night, we had a crazy finish to the race yesterday. We were coming into the last 3K where it funneled down into the, into the one lane. And Cadell tagged this rider on the right and then this spectator on the left end up with a big bruise on the shoulder here and I thought his tour was over I was yeah. right behind him when he was shooting the gap there to try to make it in before it funneled and he hit the spectator on the left and I thought for certain he was going down bike was sideways and everything he pulled it out funneled into the one lane and then after that it got a little crazy for the finish and you saw where he gained a little time on Contador yeah, there say one minute he almost goes down the next second he's got three seconds on the split the plan, the plan absolutely was to go into that finish, make it as fast as we possibly could. We didn't have to because Quickstep did, did the work for us. 
Contador's team with Hank Cappy. Hank Cappy was fantastic for Contador. He took him from way from the back, I believe, quite a ways back down the last stretch with about two and a half K to go. Dropped him off. I was on Cadell's wheel. Dropped him off. Contador right off on Cadell's wheel. I'm not going to bump the yellow jersey. <laughs> I don't think it's a good way to win the tour anyways. So I let him in on Cadell's wheel, and then the sprint started, and he must have been pretty gassed because he couldn't even hold Cadell's wheel to the finish there and lost a few seconds. So that's what I'm hoping today, too, is that he's, he's a little bit tired from his efforts and Cadell can take him on the time trial. But yesterday, hectic start, hectic finish. Uh, but Cadell, calm as ever, uh, calm as I've ever seen him. Well, hey, the Tour de France could be decided in the next uh, 20 minutes, so we're going to let you go. How are you going to spend those 20 minutes? <laughs> Just relaxing. <laughs> thanks. All right, thanks, Chris. Thanks for viewing. Contre la montre, il est parti de 1h, 1 minute et 33 secondes.